Show me a little cut shot. Let's hit a little cut in here now. Is, all right, our flag, we're going to go to the far yellow, left, far left flag, right? Left yellow flag. We're going to open up the plane line, right? Right. Which means our plane line is now going to cut across our target line. Do we always swing, a, swing along our plane line? Yes. Yes. Do we always swing along the target line? No. No, of course not. Only when the plane line is along the target line would we swing along the target line. Right. But always, always we swing along the plane line whether it's set square, open, or closed. In the cut shot, we're going to set the plane line open or across the line of flight from the outside to the inside. Right. The blade, the blade, of the blade, is, aimed, blade is aimed toward the target. A little left to right drift. Play like you knew what you're doing there, my man, with a little angled hinge action. The angled hinge action is good because it promotes, it's an uncentered motion. Angle, we haven't discussed it, but the angled hinge action does produce an uncentered motion. That's because the club head moves forward faster than it's moving, faster than it's laying back. Remember, horizontal hinge action, the club face is closing only. Vertical hinge action is laying back only. Angled hinge action is closing and laying back. But because it's, the club's moving forward faster than it's laying back, it, it's an uncentered. There is no center for that motion. As a result, it has a fade tendency that is uh, always going to be there, even with hitting, it's still going to be there, uh, and you counteract that by shutting the face down. That's the way that's done. Now, in a fade, you don't want to counteract it. You want to leave the blade normal, square, or even open. That way, your angle hinge action is going to automatically produce a little fade for you. All right, here we go. Let's set it open, and you're fighting a little bit of a right to left. Uh, crosswind, so to have a fade here means that uh, you've really put a nice left to right side spin on the ball and are proving that you definitely have the, the uh, capability of manipulating the shot. Alright, we definitely got our fade that time. And looking at that divot proves, look at the way that you see here, it entered here, you see the way it went out? That club, that club face was definitely opening up as you came out of there, and that, so you were maintaining that club face uh, in its laying back mode mm -hmm, as you went through. And, you, and also, that's, that's why it tends to produce a little higher shot as well. So there have been many great faders of the ball in history. Jack Nicklaus, Ben Hogan, Harry Varden, Lee Trevino, Billy Casper. So it's, it's something that, uh, again, most of the tour guys, the one shot they hate is that had that hook shot and many have gone to just hitting the fade as a matter of course. Bruce Litsky, another great player, became a quasi-legend in his spare time. <laughs> Very nice, beautifully, look at that little, is that not just the softest little cut you've ever seen? Isn't that wonderful? It is. There are greens that you will play in your championship career that, that they'll only accept that kind of a shot. It's the only way you're going to be able to keep the ball on the green. You get, to, you get on the third, fourth day of a U.S. Open, they let the USGA lets those greens bake out like that. They start tucking those pins. That's the only shot that will hold the green. Very nice. All right, let's bring it back more to the straight straight shot now. You've never used that fade shot very much, have you? No. Perfect. Isn't it valuable to know, gee, this is fades, and I got to adjust a little bit over there for the straights, right? Right. And then you'll, we just started experimenting this morning with the, with the closed plane line, what the draws are like, and the hands are learning. Fade, draw, straight shot. Knowing just one is not enough. Very nice. Well, that's just your basic 210-yard beat on five iron, huh? <laughs> I 
it's great.